name of Jesus. I can see the people that are still asking myself, uh, themselves why I came with you. <laughs> This is my car that's a revisit. We saw it. Yeah? We saw you it. You saw it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. When we saw it, we immediately arranged people. The prophet is here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I said someone to drop a car here. And I said I'll use it. <laughs> because uh, I always tell people that uh, ministry is not what they are saying. And always they expect us pastors to be holding our shoulders up like this, as if we are, you know, we, we have died for people on the cross. So the name of Jesus must be blessed. So people must learn to humble themselves. Next time I come with a bicycle, this time, next time I come with a bicycle, you know, you should have showed me on the, on the TV. <laughs> Let me greet you again in the name of Jesus. Give me the poor surprise. Poor your surprise. I was surprised. What surprised you? Because when the car was Because the man of the Uber even himself said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I said to him, stop here. He said, but these people that are coming close to the car, who are these people? <laughs> you know what he thought? He thought he wanted to hijack him. You know, because he sees another one. You see, you were coming this side. So-so was also coming this side. So he said, what is happening here? I said, stop. He said, what is happening? I said, you know, uh, I can't tell him that I'm a pastor. You understand? And these people, they are coming from me. You know? I said to him, come stop here. He saw he reverse. He went there. I said, stop here. I want to get off. He said to me, what is happening? <laughs> I said, stop here. I want to get off. He said, hey. Uh, I, no, I don't understand. He didn't want to stop. But it happens. Uh, it really happens. It's good when you live. Uh, one day Paul said, "You must live like you've got nothing." Hallelujah. Yeah. Huh? So you people, even God bless you. You must live like you've got nothing. Are you going to do that? Yes. Huh? I don't know how many cars I have, uh, but I don't value anything. So we want to see you. Are you ready for one on one? Huh? Let me start again. Where do you come from? Savoy. 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 Where, is, where is that? Next to Brandy. Brandy? Okay. You stay here in South Africa? Yes. Where? Victoria. Victoria. That's right. That's right. Are you together? Yes, we are together. Huh? Are you, are you partners? Huh? Yes. Or you want to know? We want to know whether you are you're a good woman or not. Boxback. 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 You are together? Yeah. So we want to see you and pray for you. And I was going to tell you that Jesus loves you. I always advise our visitors that when you come here, use this opportunity for prayer. Until you are here. Huh? You have this opportunity for what? For prayer. You know, sometimes you look at this place, it's very quiet, isn't it? Huh? If you go there, it's our land here, don't worry. And don't ask us how much we bought it. This is our land until there. You see on top, top there. You still, it, these demarcations, we just put them here. Because there are areas where we don't want people to come. Until the road, you see where the, there's a tar road? Still the church there. And this side going this way. Uh, I can tell you Jesus has loved us. And to you people when you are here, don't be afraid of hiding yourself somewhere. You pray. You understand? Everyone here that is here, they live here at night. And you find this place is very quiet. You cannot fail. Uh, to find a corner of prayer. One of the reasons why people always travel to different places is because they are no longer searching for Jesus. You know, they are searching for something. I'm sure you're hearing that. Huh? Searching for something. And always Jesus will tell people, don't give what is holy to the what? To what? 
to the dogs. And why would Jesus call people dogs? It's because he knows that there are people who doesn't want him, but they want to receive from him. That's why you've got, you find some, one person knows all these churches in Africa. One person. Knowing all churches everywhere, but you ask them, did you get what we're looking for? Nothing. Do you see that? It is because we have moved on this thing of believing in Jesus. We want to believe in, in us. You want to believe in us as pastors. It's not going to work. Let's bring back Jesus. You are hearing me? Let's allow Jesus to be the center of everything. Say amen. amen. Huh? Amen. Allow Jesus to be the center of everything. There's nothing that a pastor can do for you. But if you can believe in a God that is using a pastor, that's better. You're hearing that? That's better. So now, one day I ask people this question, that why would a blind man go to Jesus? And Jesus asked the blind man, what do you want me to do for you? Is that not a, a difficult question to answer? Because this man, everyone can see this man is blind. You see that? And why would Jesus ask him a question? Because Jesus wanted to check how far can he go in believing him. Can you see that? How far can he go in believing Jesus? You know, today when I was coming here, I don't know why, it happens to me all the time. When I'm with people, they start to tell me their problems. You know, this man, I didn't even tell him I'm a pastor. The one of the Uber. I didn't even tell him, he started to tell me his problems. Problem. This man even said uh, to me, I wish I can get a prayer. Can you hear that? And me, I'm just sitting here at the back. <laughs> I'm sitting here at the back. He said, you know, uh, the way I've got problems, I don't even know what to do. And I never ask him, why are you telling me? He started to tell me all his problems. He even said to me, you know, I've lost my house. I've lost my house. Uh, now I don't even know where I'm going to sleep today. I said, hey God, you must forgive me. I'll never tell this man I'm a pastor. You know, so when we were coming, coming, he said to me, he asked me a question. He said, so is that your house? Where I took you? I said, yes. Say, aha. Ah, yeah, no. You guys, you are leaving. I said, no, we're not leaving. We just trust God. He said, ah, do you go to church? I said, yes, I go to church. But I never wanted to mention the fact that I pray for people. Because he's from God. Otherwise, he's going to stop a car. <laughs> Come this way. He kneeled down. I know African people. Do you know African people? How much they trust God? Mm. Huh? Mm. That man was going to stop, I'm telling you the truth. That man was going to stop a car and come this way and kneel down and say, please bless me. You know, I've prayed for so many African people. If you saw, if you see the humbleness of these people, you can be shocked. So if our faith can also be like that, we can go far. Hallelujah. Amen. You are ready for one or more? Yes, sir. Are you ready? Yes. Huh? You have good faith? Yes, sir. Sister, what happened to the money? The rough money. Mm. They gave me something. They gave me something and they told me that it's only medical aid or something like that. How much did they give you? They didn't give me anything. So I didn't sign it. I just left it like that and I came today. You came today? <laughs> You are here for money. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sign it. I just I didn't sign it. I just left it like that. So you are here? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> You see what I was telling you? <laughs> and, and, and I'm sure when you come here no one asks you anything. <laughs> no, yeah. it. Uh, I also want to tell you, uh, you normally our visitors <laughs> they get the privilege of seeing uh, me and my father in the Lord. But already I've started to prophesy. So you are here for... So when do you want the money? Immediately. Immediately? Is that your husband? Yes, it is. Yeah? 
Mm, I believe there's a fight also at home. Uh, we need to pray for the family. I don't want you people to die. You hear me? Uh, we pray for the church. I don't want you people to die. Because of these things that are happening. The way you people you are you're fighting. Don't even buy a smile when someone is pretending. I'm sure you're hearing me. Don't buy it. And you know, you know what I'm saying. So when were you supposed to sign for the man? Um, it was, I think, two weeks ago. You see, God is good. Hmm? How do I know that he was supposed to sign for money? If she knows that what she's here for. So we pray for it. I believe they are not being honest with you. But after prayer they'll be honest. Because they wanted me to sign immediately but I refused. But they didn't di disclose how much was it? Mm -mm. They just they gave me like a medical thing to say I'm sign for it. There's corruption in it. Don't allow it. You hear my brother? Yes. Don't allow it. Are you a Christian? From when? When did you start to be a Christian? Yeah. I can't even remember the year. You don't remember the year? Yeah. You saw how long that? Hmm? Nah, not exactly. You've been a Christian all along? Yes. Were you drinking? Yeah, I used to drink a long time ago. So you stopped? Yes. You think God is going to bless you? Uh, I'm just trying to... <coughs> I'm not here to condemn you. I don't have that right. Uh, anyone who comes to Jesus must never be condemned. No matter how sinful they can be. Uh, that's why Jesus said, I'm here uh, to, to help those who need me. Not those who think they can live without you. I believe God will help you for me. We also pray for the child. God already have answered this lady. If, if I say to this lady, go now. One on one is finished. I said, I said, I said, she is here for that. But yeah. why is it that doing this with my money? Yeah, I was worried a lot. Eh? Can you they hear that? The 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 <laughs> <laughs> I told these brothers one day, I said, if you can be like me, one on one, if people can have faith, I can do it within two minutes. I finish because it's not about time. It's about the results that are coming. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You understand that? So maybe I can start. They said this part is not corresponding with this, so when he tends, he actually got so Does he have to sit like this? They said he will sit like that because the, they're not corresponding with Both of them. Both of them. So when he, he just sits like that now and then. Thank 
Ну, вот вот. Jesus, my tonight. You receive your money. You receive. God bless you. Are you coming as a couple or a single? You want to come one one? But are you not together? You are free, Baba. Um, hi, my name is Leah, and this is my husband. We came here with um, regarding some attacks that was happening to us, and um, we received prophecy. Um, the man of God told us about financial breakthrough, and um, we're happy about that. And it's not our first time. We keep on coming every single time. And I was having too much attacks when it came when it came to my uh, my dreams. But um, the man of God told me that it will end. So um, I'm just happy for this one on one. Even though we do it every single time, um, I just want to say thank you to the Lord God Almighty for um, for everything that He has done for us and being able to show the man of God what we were going through and being able to. Um, to read well, and the Lord redeemed that. So we just want to thank, say thank you to the Lord God Almighty. I was having too many problems, too many attacks when it came to my um, my dreams, but the man of God uh, told me that it will end, and he prayed for me. And the same with my husband also. He was having problem uh, whereby he was attacked in a way that he was um, having problem. Uh, his prayers were not the same like before, but we are all delivered and everything is fine. And yeah, while I was sitting, the man of God prophesied to me and he asked me about some uh, financial problems that I was having and he told me that everything will be sorted and then uh, all my financial problems will be over. So yes, I was having financial problems. There was something that I was waiting for, but apparently that thing was got, uh, got delayed and I received some letter that was actually that I was supposed to sign, but I didn't actually sign it. I just left it like that. So the man of God actually touched on that one before I could even tell him anything about it. So it was more like a contract that I was supposed to to sign, and then I didn't sign it. I just left it like that. But he said it was good that I didn't actually sign it because um, I didn't sign it. But he prayed for me, so everything will go will be well. 
yes after receiving the prophecy i was actually very excited because i understand um, i was happy that god will actually will always reveal his secret our secret to the men of god and then for us to be for us to be redeemed and be delivered so i was happy because of that so yes i, w I would like to advise the viewers that um they must always have faith and believe that the Lord God Almighty is the God that answers by fire and He always there to actually to our sisters and to He's always there He's always there to protect us and to our sisters in all the time. And His word is always it's always the best. There's nobody if God says yes, nobody can say no. So that is my advice that faith is very important and pray prayerful it's very important. You know, the Bible says that pray without ceasing. So it's very, very important. So that's my advice to the viewers.